Good morning, afternoon and evening to you. I am Commander Harlow Shapley and I'm here today to talk to you about ship navigation on planets. In the English language there is a rule which states the phrases elite dangerous and instant gratification cannot exist in the same sentence. One of the areas in Elite Dangerous where this statement is a truth rests in the ship planet landing navigation system. The big problem in this system, for me personally anyway, is due in a large part to my terrible grip on understanding numbers. Now, I'm not the only one with this affliction, I'm sure, who plays Elite. I love this game, but the workings of it means I have to grapple sometimes successfully and sometimes not so successfully with the mathematical concepts which swim under the muddy waters of a technology. For those of you without this affliction, I wish I were you. But I'm not, so I struggle, and when I struggle, I get angry and throw my hotters around. Hotters? Hotters. The main issue I have is while trying to work out the latitude and longitude, I am constantly moving. If I were able to stop in orbit whenever I wanted to and make some adjustments, then move again to get nearer the target, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. But the way it works at the moment, again for me, makes it almost non-usable. Given the amount of points of interest you can now visit and the number is growing, I find it frustrating that a large part of the game I want to partake in is virtually closed to me unless I spend countless hours doing spirit-breaking work until I found this. I'm quite heavily into videoing stuff now on Elite, so one of the main things I wanted to do was go around and film alien structures on the planets. So the name of this tool is Edison. Uh, it's an orbital and surface navigation waypoints. That's what it says here. And it's a great tool if you, don't, if you really don't want to learn this um, coordinates thing on planets is from Commander Maxine Slayton. And you can see this on the Elite Forum. There are arrows that appear on the screen, although um, they didn't record for some reason. So there's this layer uh, which goes on the screen um, that shows you which way to go. I mean, it's got arrows saying left or to the right, and you just go that direction until it stop, until a, a dot comes up so that you go in a straight line for a little while longer than then it'll tell you to turn right and so on. But there's also voice, um, which does the same thing. You first of all have to put the information in um, this area here, um, and then it starts working virtually well, pretty close to the planet, in, in be even before you get into orbit. So it's um, perfect. So this is the first time I've used it, so um, I've learned that not to come Distance out of to um, orbit and into glide too early, which is what I did. Now I'll be able to do two or three planets in an evening instead of half of one because Turn I can't right get to the, to the damn place Distance that I to want to be. Kilometers. Now it took eight minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get that down by half, which is uh, much Turn better right than my previous seven. attempts to um, of kilometers. spending an hour, sometimes two hours trying to do this in the uh, manual system. Turn right heading 294. Thank you for Distance watching. Distance to target 4 kilometers. I'll give all the links for this stuff below the video, along with a few other navigational tools I found which may help you.